there. Welcome to the PMN of Gilson Pipette Man L. According to our SOP 750103, we will decontaminate the pipette with 70% isopropyl alcohol. Okay. You will do your inspection, make sure it locks and unlocks. Okay, so unlock it to turn the volume. And then check if it's working. Check the ejection, make sure it does that, all right? So now we're going to do a cleaning of the lower part. Push to the side, unscrew the lower part, okay? For the sake of time, I have one opened already. Once you remove the lower part, the first thing you will see is to take this off and then followed by the screw facing up, just like so, okay? See that? It's facing up. Sometimes I know you might get confused. So this was the clear plastic that I took out from the other one, all right? And then we'll finally take this out with the ejector. Just squeeze this and it comes out, okay? Good. And that's it. Now let's get into the before screws. You take them out, and this is what you see on the inside. The piston, and then the nose cone. Take the piston out. Take the nose cone out. You can use a flat head to open this up so it has a seal and an o-ring. Can you see the seal and the o-ring? Right there. Okay. And then you will take your swab, alcohol, you want to go into the channel, clean it up. Okay. You can use air to spray it, so if there's any debris or anything that is stuck in there, it can come out. All right, so that is how you clean the lower part, okay? You do that for each one, and then you snap it back in, put it in here, nice and easy, okay? Into the groove, right here, this space right here, okay? So you set it in, and you are all set. Now you want to inspect your piston. If there are any pits on it, you want to grab your polish and make it shine, okay? You will insert it back where you got it from. So you all set this way, you will close it up, put your screws in, you 
when you put everything back you screw them together and here we have our finished product So this is the finished product. So you will take your readings, a spirit dispense, a spirit dispense, okay? Of course, you set it to the nominal volume and a spirit and dispense for five times according to our SOP 75013, okay? Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and take your first reading on the lower volume and then the mid volume and the high volume. If for some reason it is out of tolerance, you would use this tool, the Pipette Man L calibration tool. All right? So this is what you would do. You would use the tool to lift up the cover on the top like that, okay? Right, and then you are going to go in with the smaller part. There is a groove in here. It's going to sit right in it. Okay. And then you will connect the second one. Once it is secured in place, you will hold this and then turn it to the left or to the right. And when you do it, when you're actually calibrating, you realize that the counter will not move, that micrometer will not move. That is when you will know that you are adjusting properly, clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on your needs. For further details, please visit, visit the manual that is in Tools for the Novice. I hope this training was helpful. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to either myself or your technical lead. Have a great day. Bye-bye.